What is pain? Pain is defined as an unpleasant sensory and emotional experience associated with actual or potential tissue damage or described in terms of such damage. The following video will help us explain why I believe that at the end of the day, all pain is in the brain. Let's look at a representation of pain pathways. Stimulation of pain pathways typically begins with the stimulus of a nociceptor, which is a special pain sensing nerve. That stimulus is propagated along the course of a peripheral nerve toward the spinal cord, but it's not pain yet. Eventually, that signal will reach the spinal cord, where it will be passed from the first order or primary neuron to the second order neuron. Again, it's still not pain. Here we see an example of that signal being transmitted from one nerve to another. Now, this is an important area because this is one of the areas where some of our medications have an effect on pain and how pain is being perceived and transmitted. Eventually, the pain signal will ascend within the spinal cord and reach parts of the brain, first the thalamus and then out to the cortex. Now, this is where things get very interesting because it's not until that signal reaches the cortex and other areas of the brain where it's interpreted in some emotional context, only then is it experienced as pain. Again, that's why I truly believe that all pain is in the brain. 